Hello there, in this video I'm going to teach you how to generate text on top of your images using Midjourney. As you know, if you try to generate text normally, it's going to come out distorted. But we've came up with some prompts to maximize your chances of getting a better generation. You can see some examples that I've created previously over here. As the third option here came out properly. And even down here, there are some good generations that the AI has created. And even over here in the third option, it is pretty consistent in generating the words. Now, how to do this is by first of all, going into a photo editor like Canva or Photoshop and generating some images with the word that you want in different colors and different fonts. For this example, we've kept four of them. And over here, after just pasting your images into a random channel, just open it in the browser and copy image address. After copying the image addresses, you're going to keep them somewhere secured, like the notes app in Windows 11. Like this, we're just going to copy it and go down here and paste it into our prompt. Since I've already generated some items with the prompt, I'm just going to copy it. The first step is typing slash imagine. And in the prompt area, paste the links of all the images you've used as references. And after that, continue your prompt generation. Like in this example, till here, it's the images or the reference images. But after that, I just use some repetition in the word that I wanted to generate, for example, speed. And then I wrote speed here again, but in lowercase. And I wrote it over here again, but gave a bit of gap between each letter. And over here, I just wrote it with different letters capitalized. After that, give a comma and choose the font that you want to generate. This is a very important part. Choose the font. For this, we're going to be writing it in New York Times font. And for the background, you can just add blue thunder. In this example, we're also using sharp focus and deviant art HD with V4. I'm going to hit generate and show you the types of images that it creates. As you can see, it generated us the result, but it's not perfect this time. So we can just hit generate again. The key in this is repetition as the bot does not always create the perfect images and the words are distorted. So you'll have to create multiple images and just choose the best generation out of that since it is a trial and error method. To make the repetition process easier, you could also edit the prompt a bit by typing slash imagine and pasting your prompt. But in the end where you added the V4, just hit a dash dash and repeat three. What this does is repeats your prompt three times. While we were editing that prompt, this one over here generated us a decent result, which we can upscale or vary depending on our needs. For this example, we're just going to upscale it. Since it's done generating the prompts, you can see that it is getting pretty consistent in generating the prompts. Over here, we have a successful image. And in the third image, we can see that the words are also correct. For this. Now, if you're having any issues with the prompt or you like really like a generation, but the words are a bit messed up, for example, in this one, it repeated the E three times. We can easily remove that in an editing tool. I'll show you right here. Now, what you're going to do to edit this image is just download the image by saving it onto your computer. And open it in an editing software like Canva. You could also copy the image and paste it in the editor directly using Control V or right clicking and paste. Just resize the image 
and the key is to duplicate the image a few times here we have two generations we're just going to split the image into parts where we don't need it for example this e over here and then this last e over here now we can merge these images and we have a fixed version of our image now there is a gap here you could slightly try to overlap the images to make it better according to your needs but if you choose a font with vertical letters instead of these tilted ones your life's going to be a lot easier with the editing part we're also going to try this with different words For example, we're using the word game. I'm just going to create this one example for the bot and then one of it in this form. We're going to remove this font since it is slightly confusing. And we don't really like it. So we can keep this one. And also this one. Make sure to distance your images out a bit and make it clear. After generating a couple of images with the with your preferred font, just take a screenshot of the image and paste it onto Discord. After that, open your notepad again and then copy paste the links of each of these images. You could either copy them in the address or open the images in the browser. Make sure to copy the image address and not copy the image itself. After you're done saving all the images, just copy it and write the new prompt. And over here, paste your images in. Give a space and then you're going to write your actual prompt. We're just going to use the old one and ed edit up the subject a bit. For example, instead of speed, we're going to write game. After that, just hit generate. And wait for it to create your images. You can take a look at these examples over here. And they came out pretty clean and consistent. The simpler your word is, the easier it's going to be for the Midjourney bot to create your images. That sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.